No, I'm staying. Kel could end up cashing in. My turn anyway, I'll treat you. Kel could end up cashing in, couldn't he, Dennis? Yeah. Uh, middleweight. So. Playing with his health, though, Russ. Uh, hey, are we entering a dangerous era in boxing with all the gimmick fights at the moment? You know, like, for example. These YouTubers, they've been got a license, they're going to fight in America. Eddie Hearn's promoting it. What if some other, some other guys who've got big followings on YouTube decide to have a go and they've got, and people are looking to promote it and they get hurt, then what? Do well, people stand back? I'm talking it? about professional boxing. Yeah, we're talking about well, professional. We're, we're supposed to be regulated, aren't we? So it's up to the board, then you've got mm. all the boxing board of control responsible. So yeah, there's a fine line. You want to promote and you want them to help you promote, but it's got to be regulated. Do you think this is why Eddie Hearn's done it in America, not England? Because he'd get hammered over here for it. Probably not. Yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, the, other, the other fights that we're on about, they're the gimmick fights. KSI, Logan Paul, one and two. The first one in Manchester, second one in Los Angeles. Floyd versus Conor May, whether you want happy about that, were you done this? No. Shane Fury against Dillian, Dillian, Fury, Dillian White's brother, that, that's in talks. Uh, Freddie Flintoff, you know, they had that one, didn't they? Nigel Bent against Saki Obika in a couple of months. Nigel Bent, 55. He's just been granted a license to fight him. An Irish license. So he's going to fight Saki Obi. Well, you can't stop, we're, we, you know, we, we're human beings and, and really you shouldn't be able to, you can't really stop people doing what they want to do. Yeah. But all you can do is regulate. And if somebody's fit and healthy, you say, look, uh, you are healthy for 55 or whatever. Um, you, 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 didn't, you know, your brain's in decent order, you, you, you shape up all right, um, health wise. Um, our advice would be not to fight at that that weight at that at this age. So you can only give him medical because his kids are in the twenties not as healthy as Nigel Ben. Yeah? What's all that? What do you think to that? Do you want me to mention that? We don't need to now. I'm alright. I mean leave that on you. Yeah. We uh, okay then. Uh, so Nigel Ben against Saki Abika, who wins? It's going to be Abika in it all day, isn't it? You were fighting two years ago. Ben retired in '96 yeah. on the back of three bad defeats. Yeah, you think so, wouldn't you? But, but Ben is in still in great shape. Yeah, yeah, I know, yeah. But Ricky Atten was, but he couldn't take a body shot off a of feather duster man, could he? When he come back for Senchenko. No, no. So wait then. Uh, should Jazora headline at the with Parker or should it be Josh Taylor against Progray? Josh Taylor. Josh Taylor, Progray. Is that because Proper it's fight. a world title and Proper a unification fight? fight yeah. Fight. Okay. Did you watch the boxing at the weekend? Shaq and Peters against Del Spellman? No, I didn't watch it. No, I thought that were a great fight. That it was a Frank Warren show. Frank Francis Warren show. Your call. Well done, Francis. Yeah. You, know, you get on with Francis, don't you? I get on, he's, he's, he's my pal Francis. What did you think to Francis Warren hammering the Eddie Hearn KSI show? <laughs> they, they're, they're like Tom and Jerry them so aren't no, they? No, Eddie right? and Francis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, he's coming into his own Francis now, isn't he Dennis? He's yeah, uh, yeah. been quiet a few years and now yeah. he's uh, yeah. throwing his son about there, that's good. Uh, did you watch Brad Foster against Lucian Reed? Yes. What did you think? Uh, I thought Brad Foster was very, we were very a draw, close, wasn't it? Yeah, but we were a draw. They were two give it a draw, but one of the other uh, judges give it by five rounds to mm. to um, Foster. One. No, no, uh, Ru Reed in which time? Yeah, yeah, Lucian Reed. Lucian Reed. So um, I thought Brad Foster was very fortunate. He was supposed to be involved with us, weren't he, Brad? Um, yeah. After Josh Whale, well, I helped him get that. I got him. I got him that opportunity with uh, Josh Whale for the British title and. Uh, you know, certain people don't keep the word, but you know, it's happened so many times in boxing, you find people are, but look, look what's happened to him, he's been very, very fortunate, his stock's gone down after that fight, and he's got a, I don't think they'll be rushing to give him any multiple deals, uh, yeah. because I don't think on that performance he looks world class. No, he don't, he's still got a long way to go, he's a novice, isn't he, basically? Yeah, a long way to go, he's only a young kid. 
He got Josh at but I think time, certain people, it? yeah, but certain people get carried away with assaults and think, oh, they're going to conquer the world, and then they run before they can walk. Brad is capable of being a very, very good fighter, but all of a sudden, the people around him think they know better, um, and I'm, going, I'm, going to, I'm, I'm obviously going to say, if they'd have stayed involved with us, uh, his career would be in a healthier shape than what it is now or what it's maybe going to be because I think they've got carried away with themselves and they think they need to realign themselves and take stock and uh, and uh, get him going at a pace in his career that suits where he's at ability wise. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> what do you think to Darren Barker's comments saying he doesn't want to be a coach and uh, a lot because a lot of people have given him some criticism that he's been drafted in to train people for certain fights like uh, Lee Purdy, his first ever fight as a trainer, his fir ever, first ever fighter that he trained, Lee Purdy and Dave Allen, both TV fights, both money fights, people are accusing Darren Barker of just being a go-to man for the right kind of money and he shouldn't be the same, he shouldn't have a licence. What do you think? You can't say he shouldn't have a license because he's what he's achieved. But, well, yeah, but uh, what about training, aren't we? You know? no, yeah, but let me finish. Well, yeah. It's not a university challenge. Um, <laughs> Bamba Gascoin. <laughs> Bamba. Good introduction, Russell. Uh, now, Bert, I, I, this part of me agrees with you that, you know, he drafted in before he's, has, he, has he served any apprenticeship? Who knows what he's done? It's like having a football manager all of a sudden going, uh, going manage Man United just yeah. because they were a footballer has he done his coaching has he had the experience of you know but he knows what boxers are feeling like and, and he has he got has he got any motivational skills has he got the technical ability coaching wise um, yeah. some kids have always been ex-boxers straight they're just natural mm. um, you know why did Frank Lampard get the Derby job and then the Chelsea job straight away because he played for Chelsea, didn't he? Played for Chelsea, but you know and he got Derby people, into playoffs, didn't he? He got Derby into playoffs. Um, so obviously, very very quickly, he's proved his worth. Darren hasn't had a result, has he? Really? No, no he hasn't had a result. No. So maybe he needs to go out and learn his job, and learn his trade a little bit more. But uh, instead of jumping in for big yeah, fights, but he always has people's respect because of what he's achieved. Yeah, yeah, British Commonwealth he need, he needs, champion. Yeah, it don't mean to say he's not he's not gonna be a good trainer. Maybe he just needs to learn you know, some technical uh, stuff. Should he have thrown the towel in? Uh, people are saying after round five against David Price, he yeah. lost every round. Yeah. So he needed to win he needed to knock David Price out or win the last five for a draw. Should he have thrown the towel in after the sixth round yes. against Dave Allen? Yes. Uh, and not let Dave Allen have ten rounds. Yeah. Uh, um, yes, he should. Uh, Lack of experience. Ross Bacon shows book, Dennis. Yes. Ross has got a book out, Dennis. When you open it, just, hello, it's me. <laughs> what is it? I've left and I've got a new girlfriend, Dennis. <laughs> What's her name? She's an hairdresser. What do they call him? I don't know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's bad, that. Uh, only joking, Ross. It's only banter. It's only banter. <laughs> uh, Ross Birkin shows book, we mentioned that about Glen Rhodes, uh, Tyson Fury, we've done that, we're not going to mention that other thing, uh, Jarrell Miller coming back, you know Jarrell Miller? Yeah, yeah, baby Miller. <laughs> Big baby Miller, Eddie Hearn said he'd never work with him again, he fought, he failed for four steroids, Yeah. He's, that's his second lot, his second ban, Yeah. Uh, he looks like he's coming back with Matchroom, what do you think to that? But when he went, I said he would do, because money talks and bullshit walk. Eddie said he'd never wait with him again because there's a Joshua thing. Working with Eddie Hearn again, what do you think? Uh, my pal looks after him, he's his agent. Uh, oh, Jarrell Miller? Yeah. Never, who's that? A fella called Dean Baker looks after quite a few fighters. He's based in... Um, yeah, but you can't Bay sit on fence on this one, Dave. Mayfair, he's, he's a Londoner. Um, uh, what do you want me to say? I think um, I think people f are hypocrites in boxing and well, and in sport a lot, and well, obviously in politics as well, more so in politics. But look, if something makes commercial sense, somebody's going to do it. Yeah. Especially when the the um, so don't take the moral high ground. 
knowing that if you get the opportunity to work with something and, the, and there's a profit in it, that you're not going to take the opportunity because that's what Eddie's doing. So, would I take the opportunity to work with Gerald Miller? Yes, I would. Yeah. Right, so I think that's about We're it. We're ready really. for food yet? Yeah? We've done that, we've covered everything now. Don't you eat that paper? No, I won't. So, thank you for tuning in. Uh, shout out to AJ. AJ. Watson. Back on the boxing scene, it's killing your age. But, uh, but yeah, get in touch, AJ, we'll give you the job. What do you reckon, Danny? Set him back on. Get him on here. Get him in another Get him here. sat here. Heir to the throne. Get you back on team, AJ. What do you reckon? So, alright then. So, peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing. Shout out to Nicola at Climate Cool. And Nicola, fight week. Alfie, get all your tickets bought and get to Ponds Ford this Friday to watch great fights. Tyrone Nurse, Josh Whale, Tommy Frank, all in good fights. Who else is on card, Dennis? Hey, Salvin. Bobby Jenkinson Sof. on, isn't he? Bobby Jenkinson. Bobby, Bobby Jenkinson's on, isn't he? I've seen it on poster. Who's fighting Bobby Jenkinson? No, no, it just says Bobby Jenkinson's on. He's not on there. He is. We get a poster. No, 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 no. Hey, Michelle. You're on. No, it's you. No, 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 no. Where's the posters, Michelle? Are they here? Oh, Liam Din and Sufan Ahmed from our gym. There he is on. Oh. Listen, stop taking us up because that sounds like a pair of clowns. <laughs> we Do can it. hear you, Michelle. You do? Do we? Yeah. Michelle says we've got to stop doing Ross Birkinshaw impressions. Alright, Michelle! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I could have sworn I've just seen it, uh, but it's in Bobby's name on something. No. No, yeah, no. Right, come on in, that's all. Alright then, peace out. Peace out. Peace out. This is a continuation, all you hardcore fans out there from earlier. <laughs> I'm joined by uh, Mr. Ron Lyle from Sheffield. How are you doing, Ron? So, oh, we just had a little bit of a conversation there, Ron about uh, how fighters' purses have changed from when you were riding high with uh, Clinton Woods and Ricky Hatton, you know, back in the day when you had uh, Nicky Smedley on your shows. Oh yeah. yeah. Remember him? Nicky Smedley fought in Vegas, didn't he? And Femi Tola, Femi from Bradford. Yeah, Stuart Brooks. Stuart Brooks, he sadly passed away, didn't he, Stuart? No, that, no that's oh, his brother, brother Scott. Scott, yeah. yeah. Good, good lads then. What do you think then is at the moment to uh, how fighters' purses are going? Uh, the landscape's changed, hasn't it? The, because of this, because of the social media, because of the internet, yeah. days on, the, you've got the, that many different pay-per-view um, uh, streams. Now, where, where so many fighters, they think they're all thinking, thinking they want to cash in on the pay per view, and uh, there's a lot more people got access to a pay per view model, so that's why there's more money about the, the, the boxing game's healthy, if you want to call it healthy, because whenever, in, if you look at history, whenever the heavyweight division's buoyant, yeah. boxing is buoyant. Yeah. Everybody wants to see heavyweight fighters. Now, I know Chisora's kicked off about he should be the top of the bill against Parker, but for me, the trade fight, which we call the trade fight, is Taylor. Probably. Yeah, that, that's the proper fight. Who's mandatory for winner of that, Dennis? That's the uh, kid what we're working with from uh, from Thailand who's undefeated. So if Lou DeBella's fighter wins that fight, your fighter will be fighting Progray? Yeah. If Lord Josh Taylor wins it, would Barry McGuigan swerve you or would he have to work with you? Or would yeah, he have to work he's, with you? Yeah, he's the man mandatory. Yeah. So we'll, I'll get involved with uh, we uh, negotiating on that, but I haven't got a problem working with Barry if that's, uh, you know. You get annoyed with Barry? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. He's, uh, you've got to respect him what he's done. Yeah. He brought a, couple, a nation together, didn't he? He did. Uh, I respect him. Yeah. Day. All the Fame fighter. Yeah. Got a story to tell, in it? It's got a great story, isn't it, Barry? Uh, moving on from that, then, Dennis, uh, you've signed Cash Alley. Ah. We haven't really spoke about this yet. Uh, where do you see him going, Dennis, in the future? And who's training him? Do you want me to sing you a song? Go on, then, mate. The only way is up, baby. 
Uh, I think Cash is, he served his apprenticeship, I, I know I use this quite a lot as regards um, his experience. Uh, for me, we're playing at it, that's why I weren't too bothered about getting involved with Cash, because I, I've always got on really well with him whenever I spoke to him, I found him a gentleman. Where I, I didn't think he was taking a serious sport serious enough. Yeah. Uh, he's had, he's clocked up, clocked up an undefeated record before he met David Price. Um, and even against David Price, obviously he tried to get himself in better shape, but that David Price fight, um, I think it was a wake up call for him. How it all unfolded and, and how it ended. And uh, now Richard Towers has got all the rims because of his experience in boxing, Richard this is, and his experience in life, um, I think he's starting to have an effect on cash and, he, and he's realising uh, you can't play at this game, you can't play at life, you can't play at this, uh, this boxing life especially and uh, we're all working together I think cash can make a dent in that top ten I honestly do, in the top six I do. Uh, I think in a different world Say for David Price in the next couple of fights, I think it would be a different outcome. Yeah. And I think the bite would have been in in them. Yeah. So so basically Cash is gonna be working on the mental side, listening to you and Richard now, than you than before. Uh, I think he's no, always been able to fight and punch. Physically and physically and mentally, I think. Do you think he went into the ring in the wrong frame of mind, Dennis? I think he Pretty he positive, died, he died but, died, yeah, he, he, he was positive to a degree, but his he, he dad had, uh, had passed, so he wasn't. I mean, I've, I've, I've just lost my mum, um, and, and like, it's, it's a weird, strange thing. So you don't know how you're going to react, you don't know how you're going to cope with it, and, um, and it takes you a while. You never get over it, but you learn to cope, and, uh, and, and, and it's how you cope with it. And in certain situations, like you were, we're in deep against David Price and he probably weren't thinking straight, well he weren't because he started to buy it. He looked for a way out and um, and I don't think he knew why he did it himself, he just, he were there so he thought oh, I know I'll buy it, something coming to his mind. Uh, so I think we're all entitled, I think he's got an excuse there, uh, if he did it again obviously uh, you've, got, you've got to seriously look at his career. But I think he's entitled to that one, and uh, I think it's a new beginning. It's a kick up the backside as regards what he did, but nobody can uh, excuse or, 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 or damn him uh, because he's had a he's had a dear loss. Who were his mentor, his hero, was for his father. So he's not going to be of a sound frame of mind for I don't know how long. So maybe in a if, if we'd have been involved with him then, maybe we wouldn't have took that fight, looking at his mental state because of his loss with his dad, but opportunities come along and it could be a good thing because it's made him take the game serious and now he will be doing it in the name of his dad and making him proud and all his family proud because I think he'll go and win something. Yeah. <laughs> I do. <laughs> and if we've got anything to do with it, we're not bad at making things happen. Yeah, yeah, so... What are we doing then, then? Are we starting from the beginning with Cash, as if he's starting out? Where's the best place to start? Near the beginning. Right, right at the top. No, oh, we... Uh, he's 15 and 1, isn't he? So he's still a novice, isn't he, really? He's... he's look, he's, he's not a novice, but he's, but he's not a seasoned... Uh, he's not a seasoned, seasoned because, well. like, he hasn't been in some major, major fights. He's an area champion. Um, and so if, English and levels all, next, then, isn't it for him? English belt, that or? kind of stuff. Yeah, but to, uh, Richard thinks we can move him uh, a lot quicker. But I think we'll we'll, we'll sit down, Take meet, his time. yeah, and we'll we'll uh, we're Richard. What we're going to do? Plot a route for him. Then. Plot a route. I think it's going to be an I've enjoyable. Few, I've got a few ideas where I'd like. I to think it's going to be a, a really enjoyable journey. I'm, it's given me a little bit of a buzz. We've got Tommy who tops our bill uh, on Friday. And uh, we've got Tyrone, we've got Josh, and we've got other. Uh, we've got nice. Soph. Uh, Cash is going to be there on, on, on the night, just introducing him in, in November. Uh, uh, he's uh, going to make his debut for us. Cash, yeah. Yeah. So we're we having a show in November, then, or is yeah, he fighting yeah. on another show? No one has. Well, ours is November on yeah, next one. Yeah, I think it's 29th. Who's going to be on that? 
Oh, you have no faces, Josh and everyone. Yeah, all them. Uh, so we're not going to go December now, we're going to go November. November 29th. Yeah. Right, November 29th. Yeah. Oh. So, so we're not going to be going uh, week after in December then, first week. First Friday in December, it's the last Friday in December. Is that what we're doing then, yeah? No, last Friday in November. Last Friday in November, sorry, yeah, instead yeah. of first Friday in December. So we're bringing it forward a week. Yeah. Hopefully there'll be some exciting news in the next few weeks about that November show as well. That's good, doesn't it? So, another name I want to add to all that, and people seem to overlook it, but I think he's going to come to the forefront in the next 18 months, Kane Salvin. I think he'll be a mix with them boys there as a player. Kane, he, he, he's just starting to get his confidence and uh, you know turning a pro turning pro yeah. probably didn't know what to expect he's uh, nobody's really beat the drum about him yeah. apart from you yeah yeah, uh, yeah yeah I know I have yeah. <laughs> uh, I like him I like his attitude um, and he just looks like a kid who's hard doesn't he you know when you look at him I he's think very he quiet he isn't he is he's a tough kid him very and, so. and I've and seen it, him train and it, he'll learn and in each fight that he has him so and a lovely family and I really I really think he's got a chance of going and winning something um, and the exciting bit about Kane is we don't know how good he's going to be yeah, punches so hard doesn't he? he punches hard and he's, he's going to punch harder he's just going to get better and better that kid he's raw, got though, some, he? he's raw but Clinton were raw and uh, I'm not saying Jim McDonald, Jim McDonald were a lot further forward than such as Clinton. What a fight he would then is Jamie McDonald, wasn't he? Well that turned out really good, didn't it? A great fight. I got but no, people I'm talking pound for pound top for screen in my opinion. Well they were when they were riding high. But what a what a journey we went at. It come to me off two losses. Driving directly off two. Oh no on it with a red bonnet. Yeah. <laughs> Would he get that off you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> at least I swear to God. Where's that boy shoe, honey? Marlene? Blobby. <laughs> One of your pals, Blobby. Uh, he left with a Mercedes though, didn't he, Dennis? He did. He did. He did all right. He did all right. A brand new one. Everybody who's worked with me at Blobby has always up the ante and gone up in stakes. Certain people have houses in different countries who never had one before, didn't, didn't they, Russ? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, moving on from that then, because that's past, isn't it? We're looking, we're building that our thought future. It's exciting times for our stable now, isn't it? And what we've got around us. You're supposed to be impartial, Russell. I know, yeah, but I'm just trying to say, I think it's exciting times. It I'm is trying exciting. to be impartial, but... You're you know, excited, aren't you? I am excited, yeah, I mean, obviously, I've been with you four and a half years now and I've never, been, I've never seen you like this because there's always been problems in background with, 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 with court cases, with, with, with fighters and deaths and your mum and dad and other stuff, you know, other issues. But now, I mean, we need AJ back, don't we, Dennis? We need, a, we need an heir to the throne, throne don't we? Yeah, we need AJ back on, on patrol. Come back, AJ. Come back, AJ, with we'll we'll that wide-awake suits and his... Uh, it's a snappy dresser, aren't AJ? snappy dresser, AJ. He is. And his one-liners. He's, he's, he's got a good brain, aren't AJ? Make no mistake He knows his boxing. Maybe AJ's time out, he's had time to reflect. He knows I love him as well anyway. So. Sheedy might be making a comeback then. Oh, he fell in love with Sheedy. Man, I oh, loved Sheedy, yeah. I did. Sheedy got, he got, Sheedy he had one was be reverse. Billy Joe, wasn't he, at one point, when he was with AJ? Yeah, but he had that one reverse and then packed in. He'd have been better off going back down this light middle and saying, hold on a minute, I'm not big enough to be a middleweight. He had yeah, a couple something. of defeats, Sheedy, didn't he? Not with me. Oh, yeah, sorry, oh. he did. I do apologise. We got beaten Cardiff. Yeah, but it was a close Split that. decision, on it. We thought he nicked it, didn't we? But we would do, wouldn't we? Is that when you had to go at Steve Gray? Ref or judge, wasn't it? Not what about Steve Gray, no. I don't think he likes me that much. There's something there, I don't think... Dave Paris likes you, didn't he, Dave? Dennis? Well, I get on well with a lot of officials. Uh, yeah, they have my little rants in, but there's something about Steve Gray, there's something in his mind that, that we don't seem to, seem to really click, so... Uh, yeah. but. Look, time's a good healer, and uh, if he wanted to have a cup of tea with me or whatever, I'm, obviously I, I wouldn't say no, because like, you know, life's too short. What do you think, Dennis, about the rumours that Daniel Dubois is going to leave Old Trump for him? Um, he could be next but where are they going to go? Because one jumps from... Place they can go, yeah, yeah, Max Room. 
one goes from Eduardo to Franco, and one and then next minute somebody's gone from Franco to Eduardo. <laughs> and where does Dendeno <laughs> fit in? I don't know, Dennis. I don't know. You never know. You never you know. know. You never know. You could be uh, back on scene as a player, couldn't you, Dennis? You would have thrown in Frank's side a few years ago, weren't you? You and McKennessy, back in the day. Yeah, we had a pop, didn't we? And, and look at it. He's still there, though, Frank. He's seen everybody off, hasn't he? Frank's always seen everybody off, and yeah, I admire him for that. He could survive a nuclear blast, Dennis. I'm sure he would, and he'd, and he'd come crawling out and think, oh, we're, we're still here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> But he's, uh, he's boxing, isn't he, through and through, then, not yeah. like Eddie Hearn. Yeah, he's he's showbiz, isn't he, Eddie, and a numbers man. He's an accountant, Frank's a, a survivor. Yeah, he is. He's a survivor. But, uh, but yeah, boxing's changed, it's on everybody's lips, mm -hmm. and I, see, I think we're all going to do well in the next two years. I'd like to think so. I would. I'd like to think so, but look, there's a pie in there. Let's, let's, you know, if we can get a little piece of pie, we don't need it all. Let's get a little piece of pie. And there's other promoters coming through, and people get a bit of fame, it goes to their head. And I won't name who I, name who I think it is, but there's one or two. Get a bit of fame, and they think they're going to, all of a sudden, they, they don't pick the phone up, and they want to start texting, and if, that's if they get time of day, and you think, oh, hold on a minute. Where'd they come from? Isn't it nice, Dennis, when people who uh, blank your calls, when they need you, mm. you ring? Well, Isn't that nice, Dennis? Mm, I don't know if it's nice, it's just, it it's just like... Uh, when they come back cap in hand after doing dirty on you. Yeah, there's plenty about that, like that in, in boxing, but it's, a, it's an unforgiving sport, isn't it? It is. But uh, we live for the big nights, and if we get a big night, we should just Tommy, we get Cash in there, we get Keenan, we get Kane, we get Soph. Um, you know, there's, 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 there's Tyrone, there's Josh, you know, there's, you know, if we can have some big nights with them, we're making some more memories, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that, that, that's what keeps me going, and, and then, like, we share some memories which you can never take away then. Yeah. I've got some great memories with Jamie McDonald. If we sat here, we could share great memories. We, we, we got on great, but he... When it comes down to it, where money were constantly, where he, he sold his, 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 soul, his soul. soul. And, uh, you think that's why he can't look you in eye, Dennis? No, he can't look me in eye. Can't he? No, especially without his glasses on. Yeah, has he got glasses, Dennis? No. <laughs> I'd probably be a bit cross eyed, anyway. I won't know where to turn. Where he... No, I think he's. He, 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 get, he gets his head turned with, with money. And. Uh, and uh, I won't go into his personal life, but you know, it's, it's a shame because if he'd have stayed with me, he'd have had at least as much money, probably more. Yeah. It'd have been uh, more of a household name than what he is now because he's a great fighter. Yeah, oh yeah. No, we're great fighter. A dark man is a great fighter. Do you think that man? Jamie McDonald is a great fighter. I don't know. I don't even know who he is. <laughs> Well, Jamie, 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 Jamie didn't even know Sugar Ray Leonard were. Jamie from Hatfield. He didn't Big even years. know uh, Sugar Ray Leonard were, did he? They used to call him the stick man, didn't they? The explosive thin man. Oh, who's he going to fight next? Jamie McDonald. I don't know, he's just fought in Italy. But nobody can say that he's not a world class fighter, can they? He might be on the slide now, but. He's not on the slide, he's only had one, he's had one defeat. He's, he's like, no, he's, he's, had, still... he's had two defeats before he met you. He's had another. He's had another no, but I'm on about since he. Yeah, his career yeah. got going, he's had one no, defeat. He's had one since then, hasn't he? Yeah. So one defeat in 12 years. You can't really say that's on the slide, yeah. can you? Personally, I think the hunger's gone. I think some of the fighters, when they reach top of the mountain, you don't want to stay there. They get a few things in life, like a nice car and a nice house. They think that's it. That's why I'm I saying about Tyson needs to be in some big fights to yeah. keep that hunger because he's achieved everything. Jamie McDonald, he don't want to be fighting lesser fight. He wants to be in some big fights. Kel Brook, yes, he's missing. He's missing. He's missing the ball. He'll probably end up maybe not fighting again. Yeah. Where do you see Gavin McDonald going now, Dennis? I don't know, maybe we're into training kids or whatever, I don't know. Go back plastering, will eh? <laughs> Yeah. Well, probably. I mean, do you think he'll fight Josh Whale? They do a lot of posturing just to try and make themselves look good in local pub. And then, uh, but what a great fight that'd be. And uh, I think both of them should get very well paid. And uh, put a, and it's not going to harm. Each of us, this career, they've already fought a draw, so why not do it? 
Why not do it? I'll offer them both good money, so let's get it on. I respect uh, Gavin, what he's achieved, and obviously I respect just what he's achieved. So they're both brave men. Let's get it on. Yeah. I think that Gavin McDonald against Josh Whale, November 29th, in Sheffield could be a big fight then it's on free sports TV what do you think Dennis for a belt maybe or just for pride Dennis a bit pride. of pride no sanctioning fees to pay let him get at it for pride winner gets a good ranking and gets the uh, gets the cool dust yeah I'll get him a Brendan Ingle memorial I'll get him a as well. get, get him a belt anyway we'll keep some yeah there'd be, a, there'd be a, vote, a belt available for that yeah. Or, or a world ranking as well. Yeah, yeah. So well, would Gavin step up to the plate? I mean, he was sending text messages to Dennis saying, have you got any nine stoners for me to ice? Oh, well, I got one nine stone fighter. Yeah. It was Josh, the outlaw whale. Well, he needs to let us know if he don't want it, if he wants that fight or how much he wants yeah. for that fight. We need, I need to, uh, why don't you get Ginger Tomcat a ring and see if he'll uh, make the fight with us, Dennis. Keep a ring now, we've got him on film. You ring him. Well, I don't want him knowing my new number because he'll get out to everybody. I'll be getting 3 a.m. calls. I'll be getting like that. Who is it? Who sent me to Kent to film Alan Minton and the tossers? It's not fun, no. Anybody can play them kind of games, can't they? Number, they? Anybody can play them kind of games. Yeah, if you want to start yeah. game playing, don't you? It's not yeah, so yeah, 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 We can yeah. have a bit of banter without getting. If you want to get like that, they'll come on, stuck, won't they? I thought so. But, uh, but yes, yeah, so we've covered all that. Tyrone Nurse, very quiet. His dad's not. His dad's a quiet guy. Obviously knows his job, but they don't make a lot of noise, do they? On social media, I think they go just about the business, don't they? We're just looking for a uh, a decent spot for him, a de decent uh, opportunity for him. He's a bit similar to Josh Whalen. They've got the bin there and done it, haven't they? You know, the Euro level him, kids, aren't they? Could basically. put him in. With, yeah, you could put him in with a quality kid, Tyrone. Mm. And he handled it and he, and he built for it. So I think uh, maybe November that could be where we put him in for something meaningful as well. Tyrone. So, yeah. so basically, Tyrone Nurse, Cash, Tyrone Nurse, and Tommy are going to be in good fights in November. And that leaves. Well, Tyrone, I think, and Josh. Tyrone and Josh will be in good fights. And or Josh, yeah. Then or Josh. Tyrone yeah, but or Cash Josh. is going to make his debut in November. Do you think Mick will want Josh Whale out November 29th after this month, do you think? Yeah. Why not? Yeah, push it, push it up. Up. That'll be Josh three fights for us this year then, won't it? And he's had he's only fought earlier this year with Steffi, hasn't he? Mm -hmm. So we'll have done well this year, Josh, didn't we, ain't he? Mm -hmm. Plus they're, they're doing alright with Jim and that, aren't they? Yeah. He's got a job. Yeah. They're doing well. They just get on with it, don't they, Wales? There's yeah, yeah. no messing about, is there? No. They're, they're not talkers, are they, Dan? No, I, I, they've got good attitude. Get on with it, don't they? Yeah, they really well. Good attitude. You're great kicking off, it says boxing, doesn't it? Yeah, proper. This is boxing and cups of tea. <laughs> so what else are you going to ask for this second chapter? I we're going to ask you where you see yourself in five years, Dennis, as regards boxing, with TV deals. Do you think, think this is Alan Sugar now? Do you think... Where do you see yourself in five years' time? <laughs> uh, gonna, well, gonna... I'd like to have your job. <laughs> when I grow up, I want to be you. I was going to ask you, Dennis, uh, do you feel that... That wouldn't want to be me, would you? Would I? Yeah, not we all... We've got... So I would cope with we all your businesses around my neck. Stress will be chopped up and all. I'm coming out and look at stress lumps. I'm oh. out, just working with your wee boxing. <laughs> Stay to me. Yeah, all right. Up all night on box rep. He's got a couple of pimples and he thinks he's bleeding down her head. No, I, I'm, I'm going to say... Do you think we'll still be with free sports in five years, or do you think free sports will have grown and we'll be there? And I think it? that's a conversation we've got to have. Uh, with free sports? Yeah. And uh, not on camera. <laughs> no, I think we've got to have that conversation with them. And, uh, they're great happy, though. They're happy, aren't they? Well, yeah, can you not be what we've delivered for, yeah. for what we've got to play with? But, well, what uh, would you say out of all the shows we've done, they've all been good at set one? Which one weren't very good? Uh, the one at. Down. Yeah, that's what we did with Steffi, That's the it? one that got hammered, in not it? I hammered it as well, didn't I? I didn't think it would that bad, then. It was awful, then. It wasn't awful. Well, when I got to box wreck on all of them, and look, it was a shocker. You know it. And I'm not saying it because we'd had a fall out, then. Yeah, you are. It's because no, you weren't here. You'd had a fall out. You spit your dummy out and you can't find it. 
<laughs> and that's why you need Danny, you want one of your best ones, won't it? I think we just got it. Do you remember the old saying that you told me about when I first met you then? Partnerships sink ships. I've had, a, I've had one or two, and I have. Been, have they all yeah. sunk? <laughs> Just about, yeah, yeah, you're right. Just hey, Captain Pugwash. <laughs> Fuck Who it, were... like. Well... And then they play the victim and trying to make you a bad guy, but, you know. Anyway. It's onwards and upwards, but it's exciting times ahead, as Adam Smith says. This is why we love this book so much, Johnny. <laughs> well, you know, I look at people, I mean, Adam's done well in at, at Sky, but I look at certain people in certain, certain positions and I think... Put, you'd put them in our position, how would they cope? Exactly. And and like... How know, would Eddie Hearn cope? We're doing shows like we do with, well, with budget, they won't be able to do it, they'd bail out, wouldn't they? What he ought to do is come and work with me in Scrap Metal first, yeah. serve his apprenticeship under me, let's come <laughs> conquer the world as Scrap Metal merchants and... How would he cope, dealer? Dennis, uh, with your body stuck in your crushing in your arm? Shit! <laughs> Oh. You know, in a different world, I might have gone on all right with it. Um, yeah. You know, I, I got on really well with Peter, don't I? And, and, uh, and I would get on all right with Frank, but he, you know, too many people break their words. They look in your eyes. I'm one of them. I'm old school. And that's where I served my apprenticeship in the metal trade. Like a lot of people, old timers, you look in your eye, yeah, shake your hand, and you've got a deal. Well, you don't have I'm afraid with Frank, and and it's and I'm really we we had it. Because they, they, they don't know that world, what we come from. Frank does, that's why it makes it worse. I wanted to work with Frank, I got really well with Francis and George, but he let me down once or twice, and uh, you, you want to be able to trust some people, but Frank, oh, well, it's boxing. Uh, don't mean to say that what it's does right. It, does it mean that you've got a license to go out and have no, it done off? Because in the, put it being in the metal trade, doing the yeah. same strokes, and breaking the word, it won't last two minutes. Well, we know what would have happened, don't we? So, like... You wouldn't have been in a court with anybody getting served with papers, so, there'd have been a knock on door, wouldn't there? <laughs> so, they're not, you know, it spoils it because there's no need for it. That's that's the point, that's the point I'm making. There's no need for it because mm. you're stronger having allies rather than making enemies who want to plot you down for. But I can't knock Frank because of, like, it's the test of time and he's there, but it still do not I don't like some of the strokes he pulls, but I admire him as a promoter. Do you uh, regret flipping that coin with Frank for 25 grand on this? It was for 50, it was 25 grand, but it was 50 double a quits. Yeah. So, for 25 grand, so we went double a quits, which was 50. Mm. Do I regret? Nah, of course we don't. I like a bit of adventure. My dad brought me up to be adventurous. Mm. He, was, he was certainly adventurous, my dad. Mm. Dennis, do you think in boxing at the moment, you know, we have this uh, social media culture and a lot, of, a lot of fighters are building their names up. And do you think that those fighters that get a big profile but are not very good, and some fighters who are very quiet and are, and are very good don't get as many chances? I mean, I don't like to revert this back all the time to David Allen because it's like we're digging him out, you know, him being your ex-fighter and my neighbour. But do you feel that David got the chances because he built his profile up? Absolutely. Uh, do we agree with that? And they were, they were involved in decent fights, but they were involved in decent fights because he, he, he weren't fit enough and he got himself uh, taking Tom, shots. Tonked all over, didn't he? Knocking, getting knocked about when he stepped up. Whereas if he'd have lived a life, he might have made a, a, a bit more of a dent in, in the heavyweight division. Do you and think because he's got a lovely personality as well. Yeah. Do you think that them fights, what sooner or later, some of these kids that are building the profiles up and again thrown in at deep end because they do good numbers. Yeah. Do you think sooner or later that could be Eddie Hearn's undoing? Yeah. If somebody gets hurt, and you think the public could just turn on the sixpence? Well, anybody can get hurt. You can get a how many how many jockeys get bad injuries? Yeah. You know how many? I don't know what what, what do you say like car car drivers, call them racing drivers. You know, there's bad injuries, you can get hurt doing anything. If you get in a boxing ring, you can get a one punch at the wrong time, or you fall wrong, or whatever, you can get hurt. But the, the statistics uh, are really favourable as regards it being a safe sport. It's just the, it's just the principle of two men hitting each other and trying to hurt each other. That's, that's what does people. That's what the does statistics. Do I mean, and as regards like brain damage, 
neurologists will tell you, kids who had the ball, American footballers have got all this gear, but it's been proved they didn't think so, they thought it were a soft, softer sport than rugby. But, it, but it's had damage because they purposely bang butting heads. But it's, but it's rattling the brain and it's, and it's killing brain cells and it affects them. You think it's having an adverse effect in later life? If, say for example, Somebody picked Jermaine Taylor's one of his belts up because he, un he were unified, undisputed, one of the uh, yeah. middleweight. He had all four belts and ring belt. Yeah. Do you think that Jermaine Taylor flipped and fired that gun in the air? Do you think it, that was because he had something wrong with his head or all blows it took? Or do you think he just. I don't know. It, it, it might have been having a bad day. Uh, you know, it happens, doesn't it? It happens. Yeah. We get to. Yeah. He got it in his makeup because a lot of fighters, they're not. You've got to be a certain breed to be a, uh, a prize fighter. Yeah. So you're always, sometimes, a lot of these fighters live on the edge. So they're capable of like being mentally a little bit highly strung. Mm. Uh, and maybe a bit highly strung, maybe it's... I don't think it's to do with him being a fighter. I think, if anything, mm. most fighters ended up, end up being... Um, respectful towards the fellow human, human beings. That's yeah. why boxing is such a good um, thing for a, a kid to do, to be brought up with the disciplines and uh, the respect that it usually brings. Where do you uh, see boxing in the future with Saudi? Do you think this is going to be a one-off like the Rumble in the Jungle and Frilla and Vanilla? Because they never had fights there again, did they, after them? I think... Uh, Do you think this fight's been put on to take the pressure off the country at the time? Maybe, and if and and politically it's, it's, it's good for a country, but it, you know, if it can benefit boxing, do it. Yeah, it'll benefit any year, won't it, Dennis? You'll be getting paid, won't we? Very, very well played. The accountant gets paid again. The accountant gets paid again. Are we going to refer to him as the accountant from an on? I don't like saying his name again. Don't you? No, it's don't you like it? I've come out in the rush from my head because of it. You have, haven't you? Yeah. I've I don't think even, I don't think Eddie You've got that many, I don't even think Eddie could add them up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he could add them up if they were green. If they, they were green, yeah, yeah. yeah. We could, as I got a pen, we could put a bit of dot to dot here. Thanks for that, Dennis. Eh? Gorbachev strikes again. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> I know as soon as I looked in here this morning. He's off Gorbachev. Go she goes, oh, he'll be coming out with Gorbachev. Yeah, go. yeah. Comrade. It's but, uh, all right, comrade. Um, so, all right then, Dennis. Well, peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting Box. I love you, Rush. Continue with you, running your businesses. All right, peace out. Shout out to Nicola at Cloud Alright, I'll give you a ring in a bit, Nick. Ciao.